So we've managed to track him down for ABT Live, Josh Lowry from Samaki and Bluefish. You have made the change to the sun, Sunshine State, mate, and uh, you did it to get out of lockdowns, maybe? What, what did you do it for? Oh, to get a bit warmer, Steve, to be honest. So we're, we're a bit few more species up this way and uh, live the Queensland lifestyle, I guess. But the lockdown hasn't really worked as of today, but, uh, yeah, we're loving it so far. Well, last time we caught up with you, you were on the Central Coast in your big old factory, which had, you know, grown from your garage. We really enjoyed the story of how your companies evolved from literally from the garage to a, uh, to a, you know, to a multi-product, multi-dimensional business. Um, the move to the Gold Coast, have you got bigger? Uh, we have, we have. So yeah, talking about that, I think our first our first garage we could hold around ten pallets, and then we went to our our next stage, which was about. Or well, 80 pallets, I think our warehouse would hold. Our current warehouse holds around 400 pallets, and our new warehouse is over 2,000 pallets. So, wow! So uh, your growth is your growth is like a COVID growth curve, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we've got a bit of bit of room to grow into this one, but uh, we kind of we've taken the leap because we've got some exciting things coming out in the next sort of plan. You know, our future in the next two or three years. So uh, we've 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 leaped, and we've got a big warehouse, so we're very excited. I think that uh, most people in ABT will know you for a couple of things. One, it's the Samaki Queensland Open. That was an event that was so exciting last year because we had a tie for the winner of that. We went down to three decimal places on the app and we still couldn't split them. Um, and it's slated again for next week. But uh, with the lockdowns, you know, it's probably likely that that's going to get postponed. Um, I really, uh, I suppose from ABT's Anglers, I thank you for supporting uh, what's at the innovative spectrum of what we do, you know, the live scoreboards, running the tournaments on the app. You've never been afraid of a bit of technology, have you? Oh, I love technology, just uh, innovation and technology. It's it's kind of pretty much, well, that's how Samaki really started, you know. I'm always, in, in the graphite side, we're always looking for the latest graphite, the latest resin, everything where we develop rods, you know. But, uh, yeah, obviously... There's no good technology when there's COVID around for the for the tournament coming up, but that's out of everybody's hands. Yeah, it, it is. And um, I think, uh, you know, the, the other place that ABT Angles will know you and your product from is, is from the Barra side. You know, like you've always been big in the Northern Territory, Barra Comps, your sponsored anglers do really well. But increasingly we see in that in that ABT Barra Tour space, guys using your product and, and, and using it to catch fish, you know. I suppose that's a testament to the fact that you, you know, you've done a lot of this development yourself and you make product that catches fish. Give us a little bit of an insight on, and, and I know we can't see your new product, which is coming out, but give us a bit of an insight of, of the process that go you go through to get a product right. Oh, geez. It, it, it starts with, um, sometimes it can start with hooks, you know, like it's like people complain about hooks and obviously I'm, you know, active or people always upgrade things and, so we work out a way to develop a product backwards. Um, the big thing is action. You know, I'm always been, I've been a little junkie since I was a little kid. I mean, I, I grew up in tackle shops. I worked in tackle shop for nearly 15 years. Um, I have thousands of Australian lures, overseas lures. And I used, I was the kid standing at the pool, casting out when it was raining because I bought a new lure and I was whining in my pool with my mother yelling out, dinner's ready, you know? So I've, I've always studied different actions, you know, for bass, for barra, um, for everything. And I guess over time you learn and you learn how to try to tweak things. And then, you know, hooks have gotten stronger. I mean, back in the day we had mustard and BMC trebles and that was it, you know, there was kind of nothing, but things are getting stronger and thinner. Now we're fishing thinner fluorocarbon, thinner braids, all of the above, you know, so it's for, for a lure, it's all about making it, I guess, swim the best. Um, Australia is very different. We throw a very heavy leader, um, especially for barra. Um, and heavy braid, you know, compared to lots of parts of the world. So it's it's all it's really about getting the action right for for whatever species we're trying to develop a lure um, and strong enough for our environment. Um, let's go to a specific example. I've got a bait here that we gave a flogging to in the Barra Tour last year. It's one of your Reddick uh, jerk baits. That one has had a fair old hiding. Um, this is a lure which is a couple of years old now, but we pulled it out of the box. We've caught about ten Barra on it. We haven't had to change the hooks. The buoyancy is perfect. It must be satisfying for you to see a lure that's caught a lot of barra, which has never been tampered with and has lasted that test of time. Yeah, well, that was uh, so making suspending lure is very difficult. Um, that's one thing I've learned. So you'll in that particular lure. So a bit of a bit of a little secret that we do. Yep. So the internal weight of that. So obviously we we made this lure silent. So um, for the barra, they we, we find that it's 
it's definitely improved, especially Barramundi. They definitely got that silent um, jerk bait. Yeah, but there's a, there's a tiny piece of lead there. So originally we had steel balls. So steel balls are normally very accurate when we make the balls in weight. They're very yep. thin, very close. But it made the slightest sound. So we now we have injected lead. But the problem with lead is that it's got impurities into it, and there's the the weight can adjust only point x amount of a gram which then makes the lure not swim or suspend perfectly so that internal weight goes through a quality control test when that's injected it actually gets weighed for the gram and gets filed so it's exactly the right weight so that lure swims perfect every time out of the box yeah well that's, just, with that's that. one little secret that i can tell you because <laughs> i can't tell you all the others but that's kind of like what goes into making a lure you know it's not just about making a you know, injecting a piece of plastic, you know, throwing a couple of hooks and a bit of wire in there. Um, you know, there's lots of pins and welded wire, not welded wire, for all sorts of reasons. But probably why Reddick, you know, the Reddick, especially that that DS hundred, I think that's going to be uh yep. it's going to become very popular as the years come come by. That's great. Um products like your uh, your rods is another thing you're famous for the zing the gen 3 has been yeah. pretty popular um and again it's not just picking a rod out of a catalog is it you, you become a bit of an expert at the the physics of resins and the chemistry of, of graphite yeah yeah well, i suppose we're, we're kind of restrained to, to technology but carbon uh every year i think there's no way it can get better and, and sometimes it doesn't sometimes we skip like two years and you know Toro might bring out a new carbon so they brought out a new carbon Oh, maybe two years ago and we tested it and it was 30 percent more cost and four percent stronger or three percent stronger and it was like it was it didn't sort of warrant the the cost and then you know this year they bring out a new carbon and it's game changing you know it's, it's very expensive but we're working on new blanks now and now we're, we're sort of we we test blanks so not only deadlift but high sticking and you know, normally a, a brim rod, a high sticking a brim rod, you can kind of handle between one and a half kilos um, as, a, as a direct pull down, like, a, you know, for a brim rod, like a two to four kilo yep. rod. So still very strong. And now this new resin, this new carbon that Torre's developed, it's, you know, we, we're getting like nearly 50% increase, so three kilos, so 30% lighter and now double the strength of, of, of 90 degree test, which is, you know, normally it's 10% better, 20% better, never never double so this is kind of and you know in 10 years time that will probably be the cheap carbon you know it's it's yep. it's the way that carbon and and you know it's not just carbon obviously it's the it's the resin and and the nanotechnology they have in in certain um, parts of it but yeah it's it's cool i love it that's that's i mean that's that's me I, that's what i love most about the fishing industry is the technology and you know trying to make something better is this why you've got Jamie McEwen signed up as a uh, as a pro angler? You need someone with the cannons to uh, to actually get a bend in the rod. Oh, Jamie just he's got it. He's got it sussed. I think he fishes five days a week and works two days a week. He's just uh, he's a machine. He just he loves it. And obviously, it's pretty. Weird. I'm excited because I'm I'm now down down in his area, so we'll start to fish a lot more, which we just about to plan to. So, but yeah, he's got the big guns. He's uh he definitely. He can break a rod if I give him some samples and <laughs> he gives me good feedback. So it's kind of that's the stages you get to, right? To, to before we release it to the to the general public. Tell us about uh, some of the new products you've got. You've, you've you've ebbed and flowed with your involvement in uh, you know lines and leaders over the years. You, you've had some braids that were pretty popular, then you're out of braids. What have you got coming up that uh, the, the Brim and the ABT anglers are going to be excited about? Well, we're very, very excited to announce that um, Bluefish, which is our company, we're now distributor of uh, YGK in Australia. Um, it's a, <clears throat> the largest line manufacturer in the world. Uh, they make the most premium line, the largest by far. Um, well, they are the largest in the world. And they, they make a lot of lines, and we've kind of been fortunate enough to, to be given this opportunity to distribute their new launch. So the the founder of uh, YGK um, sadly passed away and he wanted to rebrand his whole company um, from YGK to X Braid. And that's been his whole thing. So the founder actually, he actually has the first patent on developing braided fishing line. So they, they kind of know what they're talking about. Yep. And X is, is, is how a braid is made. And this is why they've had X Braid um, is, is, their, is their step moving forward. Uh, but yeah, so it's X-Braid by YGK, but everything they've brought out is all new, all the latest fibre, never been seen before. So finally, we're going to introduce this where I feel like the Aussie market's going to love. We've got lots of different qualities of braid, not just one price or one price or, you know, a cheap price or an expensive price. We're actually going to go through and explain 
why this braid is this price and what it's good for. So we're in particular, like talking about ABT, there's a, there's a, there's a range brought out um, under X braid, which is called Otolis. So X braid, uh, Otolis is a sub brand under X braid and it's all for the finesse, premium finesse sort of series they make under the line. Um, very, very hard coding. So we, we know that uh, great for the, you know, guys chucking the pontoons, pylons, you know, around oyster racks. This is where this freight is going to be a bit of a game changer. So a super hard finish and long lasting line. So a, a general PE, like we've been testing all the lines. So it's not just abrasion re, um, test and strength test, but it's also lasting test. So like a cheaper braid will last relatively six months. That is what is, is on a cheap PE fiber. Well, when you get up to your higher quality ones, you can get up to two to three years if you're, if you buy the, to the top of the range. So it may cost a little bit more to start with, but it lasts a lot longer. So, but this is a, uh, yeah, this is a uh, X-Braid Altolis, and you'll you'll see this come out very very soon. So it's it's not here yet. It's here in a few months, but uh, you'll definitely see obviously with ABT and uh, a few of our sponsored anglers using it on the circuit. Yeah, and I think it's pretty uh, recognizable in that gold packaging. That's got. Yeah, yeah the Japanese of uh, they they this this is very fancy packaging. There's that much glitter and, and uh, foil on it, but uh, it kind of I guess it it shows you off how good the quality of the line is internally. So. But very, very thin um, and, you know, obviously for finesse stuff for the brim, especially the brim scene, it's going to be, be really good. There's a huge range coming out, but this stuff here, particular for the brim, uh, it's going to be really good. That's cool. Um, tell us about uh, your fluorocarbons as well. You're, like you're, you're not just doing braids, the leader side of things you got covered. What, what's coming there? Yeah, so there's a large range of fluorocarbon coming out. So we've actually, so under that same sub-brand Otolis uh, fluorocarbon, this is a, 100 meter shot, so it's a parallel spool, so it can be used as a straight through um, monofilament. It's a double coated fluorocarbon, so very high abrasion, really, really hard. Um, so it's, a, it's the top end of, of premium sort of fluorocarbon, but we've been able to make, because it's double coated, not normally you can make a double coated uh, fluorocarbon line be castable, but now they have done this. So this is the first. So you can fish a straight through monos becoming, straight through fluoros becoming more and more popular, not just for yep. brim, but even the freshwater scene for cod. Yep. And that sort of stuff in the, in the heavier, like 24 to 28 pounds straight through. We're starting to be a bit more technical in our country, like like the USA. And uh, this one is going to be great for that for that straight through uh, mono, especially, you know, we've got three pound, four pound, five pound, six pound, all for the brim guys. So uh, That's cool. It, it yeah. is good to see that um, that some Aussies are finally thinking that no stretch is the best. You know, you've got to have some sort of give in the system. Yeah. yeah, I think just for so long. I mean, I remember myself working in tackle shops. All we did, it went from mono to the braid come out and we all we did is we told everybody had to be sprayed with with fluorocarbon leader and now it's been 20 years and we've got to probably now educate that things are getting a bit more technical and fish yep. are getting smarter now we're now with all these technology with low rent like Lawrence and um garmin this live scope and that it's you, you literally see fish turning away and you're like well, why'd they turn away you know so now i think yep. we're going to be evolving more not on on many levels you know not just the lure not just the line you know the leader everything so uh, exciting times, I think, for, for Australia. I think there's a lot of different techniques are going to happen, like like fluorocarbon straight through um, over the next, and even nylon. You know, you you'll still you see Jocko, he's over there. They got mono, they got fluorocarbon, they got braid, and they all have specific reasons why they use that line. So I think we'll we'll definitely evolve in that direction. Well, I think you've planted yourself in a pretty cool part of the world to do a lot of that. As you know, the southeast Queensland, it's the mix of the tropical species are up the road, the southern species are down the road. You've you've done well to do it and uh, well done for moving closer to ABT headquarters, mate. We expect to be doing a bit more stuff with you down the track and thanks for making the time to join us tonight. No worries. Thanks, Dave.